Right there. Okay. I mean, that's going to be close. Wait. It doesn't look completely crazy. No. The whole place is not level, so. Yeah, you can go down a tiny bit more. Okay. Right there. Okay. It's just kind of splitting the difference a little bit. Okay. Huh. That's nuts. It's a crooked world. That looks a lot better. Mm-hmm. Which is crazy because it's way high on the left. Yeah. Oh boy. Screw that into the wall, seriously. Seriously. And screw the other front one into the second one and then you seriously have it. TV shelf. Do you want to start on the bathroom today? Yes, I do. Yep. I don't even think I have to screw these. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Screw it. Screw it. <laughs> All right. So. Just got done building a little shelf for our TV. Um, it was just sitting on the hutch below it, but when you're in this small of a space, you need to make the most use of it and make it functional. So, yeah, that's why we built the shelf for the TV because we come in and set our gloves and our hats and all of our crap down on top of this little hutch. So, yeah, there it is. What you working on? <laughs> okay. So <laughs> you've probably seen in the past we've been using a five gallon bucket with a uh, toilet seat and lid mounted on top of the bucket which is fine but it is a pretty serious balancing act when it comes time to do the cleaning business. Oh boy. Just saying. <laughs> yep, you can't. <laughs> I'm a leaner so when you lean over on a five gallon bucket sitting on a a toilet lid it's a balancing act yeah it's kind so, of a struggle we're going to build a permanent um little fixture here that has a lid that lifts up and the five gallon bucket goes uh inside i kind of we kind of debated maybe putting a door here so it can just slide in and out because we know how messy it can be to try and lift a five gallon bucket out of a container so we might, it might just be a door that opens up here and then the five gallon bucket slides in and out, so. Yeah, we'll figure it out as we go. There's no real plan here, just. You know, and, and that's the go. thing, it's, you know, 10 people could build this and it's gonna look 10 different ways. So there's no right or wrong, just whether or not the business gets done. Yeah, and you don't tip over, <laughs> cause that gets messy. It does. Yes. I, the, now the most important thing though, is that you build this high enough that your five gallon bucket fits underneath. Right, that is important, <laughs> yes. So first step, measure bucket. Measure bucket, mm -hmm. yep. Go off of that. Yep. I'm gonna measure the bucket. Okay. Does anybody know the standard height of a five gallon bucket? Hmm, that's a good question. In case you're wondering, it's right at 14 and a half inches. There you go. Lots of little projects today. So this is going to have to be mounted independently, otherwise like it's going to stick out too far. I like that. So this will have to fold up. Okay. And then, I actually, I still think we need a door. It's just going to be so much easier than lifting it out of that. Make sure the door opens this way though. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then you just take and slide it out. It's going to be a lot easier that way. Then lifting. Yeah. Yep. Le bucket. Le, le bucket. Le, le toilet. Oh, still doesn't seem square, but. Or whole, does it? The whole place really isn't square or level, well, so. Unless this isn't 23 and a half. 23 and a half. Mm hmm. <laughs> 
Does this look square? It, it's because this wall isn't square. And it tips it. That's mm -hmm. okay. I mean, it's built in. It's just what it is. Slide that thing in and out, make sure. Don't wave it around. No. <laughs> no, you won't. No, I won't. Okay, so we really wanted to build this out of cedar originally, and we went to Menards and looked, and for three boards to build it out of cedar was almost $50. So I was still pretty hung up on that. Had them in the cart, and then we went over to the bargain bin to find some two by fours and some stuff to like trim it out. And we ended up finding basically everything you see here, I think it's like $18. So I'm pretty cheap. So I'd much rather spend 18 than 50. So we ended up with pine, just like a chip lap. And I'll eventually stay. Make it look pretty. Forget this eater. How is it? It's about as good as the rest of the place. <laughs> shabbin, shabbin quality. Oh. Yeah, is it's it gonna be, it's gonna very be comfortable? Great. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay, hard. so I need to decide. Do we like, I think I wanna use the, the big ones. And this is going to be the top. There's two of them. Seriously, what a deal. And it's going to have to be away from there anyway because it's going okay. to hinge. Well, then I can put a little piece of trim. Yes. On it. Yeah. I wonder. Hold on a second. I wonder. Make it look real pretty here. Oh, yeah. These were in that $18 bundle. Move it your way a little bit. Back my knee. That's a real nice one. If I could do that. Because then it would sturdy up the whole door frame of it too. That's super fine. Super duper. And then we'll rip this down because this will be permanent then. Okay. This will be mounted like this. Okay. The door will open. And then from here, this will be a door. Okay. So I that? should trim this out and where the door is going to be, put my hinge at least on this half of it, and then we'll take it. Then well, I say we rip these down. Just do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but at first, I need another little two before. Okay. That is... Give me a measurement. I got some more outside. Yeah, the tape measure, the hard part, must be out in your hand. No, that's my tape measure. Oh! <laughs> oh. Yeah, because for once I'm keeping track of it. Can you go just shy of 15 inches in? This one goes in. Yep, sorry, sir. You can't be part of the project. I got dog prints on my, on my door. Dumb. <laughs> it's not plugged it's in. It's fun though, you can always just go. I can make the sound, but I need this sample to go. Mm, true. They were 69 cents. They for were a 69 cents. <laughs> <laughs> they were so crooked they couldn't even start a fire. Actually, this summer we'll have an outside. We, yeah. Blue. An outhouse is in the plans, but. 
Nobody's going out there when it's 30 below. No. Come on. All right. That helps. Oh, I see what you're saying. But technically, if I cut this down, it could be the trim. If you want to be technical. Technically. Nobody's ever going to see that side. Just doesn't have to. What do they always say? It doesn't have to look good. Just has to work. Just good. has to work good. Um. Yeah. I think we'll just rip that straight because then it looks just like this anyway. Okay. So that'll work. I'm a little nervous of how this is going to sweat. You want to try it? We can't until we cut it, really. Okay. Well, then let's so, cut it. Cut it. Cut it out. Cut it out. Okay. <clears throat> this battery. Mm -hmm. This saw. This saw. Battery might be in. I think I got you covered here. In the skill saw. I'm gonna use that giant thing. Hey. My arms aren't big enough to use that. Do not make fun of my tools. So heavy. So heavy. It's not. It's not. It's not. Ow! Oh. This drill. It's not the drill. Now we do want to. I don't know how. Yeah. Definitely want to hold this end up. Okay. And then keep an eye on this gap. Okay. More importantly, the gap is close. You and know then. What when we put our top on, it's got to clear it up here too. Yes, it does. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's all the things you're in charge of, right? Now. It's a it's lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. I think we need to trim it down. What do you mean? Well, so when this sits on here, I think it's gonna be a really tight okay. open. Whatever this is, I think just cut it straight so across. So you don't have to really trim it here, just mostly this end. Yeah. Okay. A little level to draw a line. Uh -huh. Here. Take it. No. Oh my god, fine. He's gonna wing it. Alright, so here's our progress so far. We built a frame. And we have our hinges on. And he's cutting the door down just a little bit so we make sure it swings open nice and easy. What do you think? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> How you like that gap? I just want it the same. Down just a oh, you're going down, I'm going up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think. Right there. Okay. Do not, not move. I'm not going to. Try that then. Tootsie's so helpful. Yes, I'm happy with that. Alright. Awesome. Super sweet. It is super sweet. Super sweet. Oh! Oh boy. Now I see how you strip all these things. Yeah, it's not easy. What do you think, though? That's your new kennel. Okay. Kennel up. Kennel up. Get in there. Go in there. Get yeah. in there. Kennel. Yeah, I'm not getting in there. <laughs> no way. Mm. Meet my boy. Should we check the bucket? Yeah. Most Turn the camera off first, just in case. Doesn't. Most importantly, I know that would be embarrassing. Oh yeah, look at that. Give me that. Mm. Mm. I think we'll just give it some detail, like 
Oh yeah. Half that. There's gonna be a lot of people right here. You know what? To see this. S needs to be stylish. Does, it, does this look nice? Function and style. All right. So it's kind of tight in here, as you can tell. But we got one of our sides on. And our front door on. Pretty fancy. So I positioned the stool lid in the appropriate position. Mm -hmm. And oh even, boy. yeah, I mean, it, it just feels right. Does it? When it feels right. So nice. You know it. Yes. So, yeah. Um, you trace the. So then I. I Put this where I love it. Trace to. Yes. Yeah. So now I'm going to use a plunge router and. Got it. Yep. Good to go. <laughs> Seriously. It's wet out there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got this awesome router for Christmas and I uh, love it. How is it? It's perfect. Do you need more screws? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's official. We have a much more functional and pretty new. I think it's Dozy approved. And I got this old like barrel tiny little barrel. I suppose it's a little more, maybe seven or ten gallon barrel. Um, it's pretty old. Found it, I don't know, in the woods somewhere in Missouri. And I got this cool scoop for our sawdust. And there it is, our yucky bucket. Probably enough of that. Nobody wants to see that. And then eventually, once I stain it, we'll put a handle here. Then you can just open this, pull your bucket out, and dump it in our compost barrel. Yes, I think that'll be so much better. Uh, uh, uh. What? What are you doing? I'm always so tired when we're up here. I don't know, because we constantly work, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was another productive day. We're not quite done. We still have to unload all the firewood out of our truck and find a place to stack it. But so far today, um, I made a TV shelf. I hung some hooks up to make things a little more functional to hang stuff. Um, found the dog. We found the dog. Herman was lost for a little bit. He we're was, not sure how long. And we're not sure how long <laughs> he was missing, but he was warm. He had a sweatshirt on and his diaper, and he's good. He's happy. He's back. He's sleeping in the bed now. Um, and then we took on the project of making our new toilet, our composting toilet. Um, we did it without a plan, and I think it turned out pretty good. We kinda, I think it did. I mean, you gotta, you know, you gotta think on the fly and adapt as you go. Um, but I think. Um, yeah, it's going to be very functional, and I'm not going to need to do a balancing act anymore. Right. So I'm pretty happy about it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, this morning, I made a composting barrel. Um, it's just a 55-gallon drum with holes drilled in the bottom of it to dump our sawdust and compost in. So. And what do you do with that? Like, does it just um, eventually come topsoil? Is what yes, I mean? that's what I understand. I've not ever done this before. But from everything I read on the internet and Googling and YouTubing and Pinterest, um, the best thing I could come up with was a 55-gallon drum system. So I guess I'll find out in a few months how it is working. If that, so I was wondering if it gets dry enough, could you just burn it? Because like, it's sawdust, so when it dries out, 
I wonder if you can just burn it. You might be able to burn it. If you wanted to. I don't know. Or if you wanted to use it in your tomato plants. <laughs> right. I think people actually do that. I don't know huh. what. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it is oh. interesting. We'll keep you posted on that. I went for a walk this morning uh, to the far north end of the property, and I got about a third of the way mm -hmm. to the north corner, okay. and Herman decided to chase me. And got halfway there, and the snow out in that uh, food plot is up to my knees. So he can't even walk. <laughs> so guess what I had to yeah, do? Yeah, you had to carry him all the way back. Yeah. Such a little stinker. High maintenance, oh I tell you. you got to have him. And what else yeah. did we do? We it seems like we've done a lot more than that. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, yeah. It's just, you know... Because of the weather, it's it's made it more difficult. The fact that we still have a makeshift lean-to off the east side of the cabin. With the tarp. With the, it's just a 15 by 20 tarp. Um, and we, what about every hour we have to clean all the snow and ice off of it because it gets too heavy to, I mean, you're talking all our hand tools, all our power tools, all our wood, all the sawhorses, everything is underneath that. Underneath that tarp. A tarp. Yes, and then we're trying to work underneath that tarp on top of that, which has kind of been difficult. Yeah, yeah <laughs> but, for sure. But it's done. Yeah, it and is It's done. beautiful. I love it. It's very functional. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, it'll be nice. Really nice. So now all we have to do is unload an <clears throat> eight-foot truck box of firewood. Oak. Oak. It's heavy. It's, it is heavy. It is it heavy. It smells good. It does does smell good. It burns efficient. Very efficient. I yes. mean, yeah. It's past three o'clock and we've only put about four pieces in there. And mm -hmm. it's in the upper 80s with a window half open on both sides of the shaven. Yep. And then last night, we both slept pretty good. Um, oh, at my the gosh. beginning, it was really hot. Um, We're learning the stove. Yes. And not only learning the stove, but now also learning. How efficient it is on a good hardwood right so i think tonight probably no wood on the fire later than eight <laughs> right and it pretty much <clears throat> did you get up at all in the middle of the night to put anything uh, on it no i didn't no and what was it in here this morning 65 maybe 65 yeah i mean it was comfortable we both have big sleeping bags so we stay pretty I think 65 is extremely comfortable i know you think yeah. that's cold but it's not, it must be a little bit cold because Herman was in my sleeping bag this morning with me. That's which... your fault. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't I know. I, I would like it to be 65 at all times, honestly. I really? sleep better. Yeah. I had to, to get it under 80 degrees, I had to open that window all the way. I'm surprised you didn't wake up for that. I didn't. Nope. I slept really good. It was nice. Yeah, it was nice. Mm hmm. It's a really heavy, wet snow. You know, a lot of the snow that came down yesterday is gone. It's been raining on and off and just kind of misting today. It's not, like I said, not great work conditions. I can't imagine what the roads are going to be like. We're going to go visit some friends here in a little bit. And, uh, I mean, I don't know, freezing rain, yep. dropping temperatures. Mm -hmm. It could be interesting. Yep. Oh, good job. Good job. <laughs> yeah. It's a good day.